This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating enthalpy changes using average bond enthalpies. So we'll start with the definition of average bond enthalpy. The average bond enthalpy is the energy required to break one mole of bonds in a gaseous molecule averaged over similar compounds. Bond breaking is endothermic. Energy is required to break a bond. Bond formation is exothermic. Energy is released when bonds are formed. To calculate the enthalpy change for a reaction using average bond enthalpies, we use this equation. So the delta H, that's the change in enthalpy, is equal to the sum of the bonds broken minus the sum of the bonds formed. A table of bond enthalpies and average bond enthalpies can be found in section 11 of the IB data booklet. So on the left we have the values for single bonds and on the right we have values for multiple bonds. Next we look at an example. In this reaction we have the complete combustion of one mole of propane to form carbon dioxide and water. Here we can see the full structural formulas of the reactants on the left and the products on the right. So we'll start by counting the number of each type of bond in the reactants and the products. So in propane we have two carbon to carbon single bonds and eight carbon to hydrogen single bonds. We then multiply the number of each bond by its average bond enthalpy value. So that's two multiplied by 346 kilojoules for the two carbon to carbon single bonds and eight times 414 kilojoules for the eight carbon to hydrogen single bonds, which gives a total of 4,004 kilojoules. Next, the oxygen. So in the balanced chemical equation, we have five moles of oxygen. So we need to multiply the bond enthalpy value for the oxygen to oxygen double bond by five, which gives us 2,490 kilojoules. Next, we'll move on to the products. In the balanced chemical equation, we have three moles of carbon dioxide. One molecule of carbon dioxide is composed of two carbon to oxygen double bonds, which gives a total of six carbon to oxygen double bonds. So we need to multiply the average bond enthalpy of the carbon to oxygen double bond by six, which gives 4,824 kilojoules. And finally, the water. So in the balanced chemical equation, we have four moles of water. One molecule of water is composed of two oxygen to hydrogen single bonds, which gives a total of eight oxygen to hydrogen single bonds. So we need to multiply the average bond enthalpy for the oxygen to hydrogen bond by eight, which gives 3,704 kilojoules. So to calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction, we add together the total of the bond enthalpies for the reactants and we subtract the total of the bond enthalpies for the products. So we have a total of 6,494 for the reactants and 8,528 for the products. So this gives us an enthalpy change of negative 2,034 kilojoules per mole. In our next example, we look at the reaction of hydrazine N2H4 with oxygen to produce nitrogen and water. So as in the previous example, we need to count the number and type of each bond in the reactants and the products. So starting with hydrazine, we have one nitrogen to nitrogen and four nitrogen to hydrogen single bonds. And here we have the bond enthalpies for the bonds. In the reactants, we also have one oxygen to oxygen double bond. In the products, we have one nitrogen to nitrogen triple bond and four oxygen to hydrogen single bonds. To calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction, we find the total of the bond enthalpies for the reactants and we subtract the total of the bond enthalpies for the products. This gives us an enthalpy change of negative 577 kilojoules per mole. Enthalpy changes calculated using average bond enthalpies are often different to the actual value. So here we have the enthalpy change of combustion of propane, which is negative 2,219 kilojoules. This value is different to the value that we calculated using average bond enthalpies, which was negative 2,034 kilojoules per mole. 
The reason for this difference is that average bond enthalpies are calculated by calculating the energy required to break the same bond in similar compounds and then averaging the value. This means that the actual bond enthalpy value may be different to the average bond enthalpy value.